Hey guys! In my last video, the majority of you asked for Black Widow to go first, so that is what we're working on in this video. Quick disclaimer, if you came here from my Thor repaint, please lower your expectations so we can be on the same level. As you can see, this doll is not meant to look like Scarlett Johansson, but the cartoon version. And I want to be completely honest, my goal is of course to make it look better than it does currently at this state, but I'm also not going to spend days upon days on working on it. With that being said, let's get into the review. It does have a lot of the same issues as the Thor doll or action figure and I'm a savage so I'm going to be calling it a doll throughout the rest of the video. However, because of the hair it's not really able to turn the head at all and I understand why they sculpt the hair because it's a toy marketed for boys and I doubt that the majority of young boys would want to spend time brushing the hair of their heroes and heroines but I feel like they could at least have sculpted it so they are able to turn the head. One positive though, she is actually able to sit in a 90 degree angle, which is more than we can say about Thor. But she also didn't come with a weapon. Thor did come with Heimdall's sword, and even though that weapon of choice may not make that much sense, that is still discrimination in my eyes. Just kidding, in case you can't tell. She does have removable cuffs and a belt, and I'm so happy they're removable because I don't like the way they look. Anyway, let's get started. First, we're gently going to be giving her a haircut, and for this, I'm going to be using my handy dandy mini saw, as well as my electric file. I didn't film much of this process because it was making a huge mess on my desk, but I think you get the idea. Now, I'm sure if you have the patience for it, you could remove the hair in a more gentle manner. It is glued in place because they've used the same face mold for multiple women in this series. Quite frankly, I don't want to spend time dissolving the glue with the risk of then also melting part of the face or the head. And I also really like playing around with my power tools. This really reminds me of a character I've seen before, but I can't put my finger on who it is. Just like with Thor, I'm going to be using acrylic to adjust the face. I'm going to be whitening the face and then I'm also going to be adding some more, I guess, volume to the sides of the nose down where the nostrils are. I'm going to be adding some acrylic to the forehead and then I'm also going to be adding some more volume to the lips. For those asking on my previous video what this is, this is acrylic for nails. You can use it to sculpt actual artificial nails. Personally, I use it to make those cute little 3D decorations that you see, especially in Japanese nail art. It may not work as well on a doll that is made from soft vinyl, like a Monster High or a Barbie. At least not if you're looking for something where you don't have to do any gluing. But for something like this that is made from hot plastic, it works amazingly well. I'm just quickly adding this and trying to give the head a better shape. I'm not spending too much time on it and I'm not going to be focusing on getting her to look right from every single angle. But I am changing some of the most obvious issues. For the repaint, I'm going to be starting off with a layer of acrylic paint and then I'm going to be going in with my heat set paints. Once again, the heat set paints I use are by the brand Genesis and they're meant for rebonds and stuff like that. But you can also do this with acrylic paint, watercolor pencils, soft pastels, etc. Part of the video is going to be filmed from this angle and then the rest of the video is going to be filmed from a different angle. The reason for this is because 
due to the limited movement of the doll's head and the placement of my camera, I pretty much wasn't able to see what I was doing, which isn't exactly ideal. Once again, I'm using a picture of Scarlett Johansson rather than the character as my reference. Same reason as usual, when movies first come out, it's a lot more difficult to find a good picture of the different characters or screenshots from the movie. You can find a whole bunch of pictures of Scarlett Johansson dressed as Black Widow, but most of them are from the other movies. And the problem with that is that in those, she has a different hair color, she has a different uh, eyebrow color and also a different makeup look, and that is going to make the process a bit more difficult. Just like with Thor, at this point in the process, I did start going kind of back and forth with painting, then adding some details to the outfit, then the hair, painting some more details, etc. I really like doing that for dolls like this one, but if you prefer doing it in a more chronological order, definitely do so. For the hair, I'm going to be using some white viscose. Her hair in the movie is not exactly white, but I am going to be adding some shading using soft pastels and later some heat set paint as well. A couple of you did ask me to please go with the red hair. The reason why I did choose to go with the white hair or the blonde hair is because this is what she has in Infinity War. Personally, I do prefer the red hair as well. And there's another reason why I kind of regret not going with the red or darker hair, but I'll get back to that later in the video. In these videos, I do skip over a lot of the process when adding the hair. And the reason for this is just because it's the same as in a lot of my videos. I did receive a couple of comments on my other repaint asking to see more of the process, especially when adding a beard. So I'm going to be including that for the Captain America. So back to one of the reasons why I kind of regret not adding the red hair instead. At about this point in the video, at least from the angle that the camera is watching, it started reminding me a bit of Jennifer Lawrence, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I would have been more concerned if it started to look like, I don't know, Brad Pitt or something. 
This is just again down to the fact that I didn't spend time adjusting the shape of the face from all different angles, but the red hair would have helped. And that's about it. Once again, it's not perfect, but I did kind of reach my goal of making it look better than it did when I bought it. I'm going to finish off with a picture of the finished repaint in better lighting. My next video is going to be Captain America, which unless I find suddenly a Doctor Strange doll, action figure, whatever you want to call it at the local stores, is going to be the last Avenger repaint. 